Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm trying to get y'all the uh, template before I start. I'm gonna put the template where I got the template from down in the chat. Okay, so if you want the template that I'm finna do, uh, you click the link in the chat, and then that's where I got the template from. Let me see, can I pin it for everybody? Won't be like, where you get it from? Where you get it from? Let me see, can I pin it? So the message that's pinned at the top is where I got the template. What's going on, 32? After Leo, what's going on? What's up, G? Kia, Kia, Kia. How you doing, baby? So um, I'm just going to go live, and I'm going to do the little shot box I had posted on TikTok. I got it off Etsy. And, and you do get two for the price that it is. It's like $5, which is not bad. Um, so this one here is uh, 13 uh, by eight. So if you got like a 12 by 24 paper, that's good. But if you don't, they also give you this file here, which you have to put together. This is the one I'm going to be using because I only have 12 by 24 paper. I mean, not 12 by 24, 12 by 12 uh, card stock. So I'm going to be using this template here. You can use this one if you have a 12 by 24 uh, card stock or anything that's heavy, like a poster board. You can buy a poster board from Dollar Tree and you can use it. Can y'all hear me? If y'all can hear me, give me thumbs up. Make sure y'all hit the like button as y'all coming in, please. So uh, I'm just going to try to do my own little design on it because you know how I am. I'm just extra all the time. So I'm not going to use this one here. Like I said, this one is for like a 12 by 24. If, like not 12 by 24. It's like 13 by 8. Like you need a, a longer sheet of paper and I don't have that. The car stock I have is on the 12 by 12. So I'm going to have to ungroup a lot of things. And I, I won't be scoring however you said uh, i won't be using the scoring lines because i don't know what my scoring tool is so i must just have to wing it outside of my head but uh the lines you will have to turn those into scoring lines i'll show y'all just in a second if i can get it to ungroup okay you got to ungroup everything because everything is grouped together in order to make any kind of edits you will need to ungroup the template that you buy so let's just be clear on that um let me see. Let me zoom in a little bit. Y'all don't be able to computer. I be trying to get y'all some videos, but I work off the camera with the computer. Um, like I said, you don't have to use the blue one because it, you will need a bigger car stock. I'm not going to use this one. So for the ones that's just coming in, that's why I'm not using it. Okay, that's the scoring line. So I still got to ungroup. So if you're still putting a box around it, when you click on it like this, that means it's still grouped together. You need to ungroup it. Hey, motivational. Yeah. So I hope everybody having a great day. Okay, so now it's the part. So I'm going to delete these here because I, like I said, I'm not going to use that because I don't have that side paper. Now, they also made it small enough for you can be um, doing car stock or 12 by 12 car stock. The size, it should come in exactly the right size. So I didn't resize nothing. The way I bought the template and I uploaded the Cricut, I just bought it straight over here just like that. I didn't resize nothing. Don't touch the sizing because then you're going to mess it up. So whatever size it come in in your Cricut, that's the size that's supposed to be. And if it don't be that size, then you can do some readjustments yourself. But I didn't touch nothing. I didn't. So I'm going to zoom the screen in. And I'm going to play around with some stuff, y'all. Y'all know how I am. Okay. So, uh, like I said, I'm not going to use the scoring line, but for, for the people that don't know how to do this when you buy a template, you'll click on the scoring line, which is this here, that's in front of your box. This line here, you'll just click on it. When it highlight, you want to turn it. Let me make sure it's, it's the right one, though. Okay, no, I didn't click the right one. You want to click the score line. Okay, now the line is highlighted. Up here, you'll go up here where it says basic cut. 
This for whenever you buy any kind of template and the lines look like this. If you do not turn your lines into a square line, it's gonna cut. It's gonna it's gonna cut it in pieces. So you have to do this step in order to, you know, for the thing not to cut out. So you'll go to basic cut, come down to score, and you need to have the scoring tool to go in your cricket. If you do not have a scoring tool, it's a waste of energy. So once you turn it to a scoring line, it should look something like this. See a difference? If it's a square line like this, that means your machine gonna cut that paper in half. So you have to go up there to basic, make sure you highlight it. Go up here to basic cut and turn it into a score line. If you do not, if your lines don't look like that, it's gonna cut your paper completely apart. So hope that helps somebody, but I'm not gonna use mine. Hey, how y'all doing everybody that's coming in? I appreciate y'all so much. Please hit the like button. So, okay, we're just gonna get started. I bought the template off of Etsy. The template is pinned in the comments. So if you scroll up in the comments, that's why I bought the template for you. You can go buy it yourself and you can make it if I want you know, make this or whatever. And I don't know my scoring pin is, so I'm deleting the score lines and I'm gonna just have to eyeball it. Okay. Okay, so the sizing is for this piece is an eight by nine. This little piece by itself is a four by six. And these little pieces are five and three. I ain't touch none, I ain't resize none. Once again, the way I bought the template, that's how I came. And I ain't touch nothing. I'm just zooming my, my screen in. Now I'm going to different things to try to, um, Make my own little design. Y'all know what I do. I love to play around. So, um, come on, thing, y'all. I'm bad with the computer. I'm going to duplicate these because, yeah, let me duplicate. Yeah. Okay, got it. It's a little slow. Okay, I guess I really didn't have to, but I, I guess we'll just keep it like that. For some reason, this this other one did not move. And it says, "Good morning." So you can you can't cut the score lines with a regular blade on Cricut. No, if you I mean that you can, if they, if it looks like how it just looked, but for some reason, I don't know what what's the difference. On let me see. When I turn it into a score line, it, you know, usually it'll let you cut like this. It does. I don't know if the design got it already be like that. Click on it. Oh, dang it, y'all. So score. Um, maybe if you're doing a printing cut, probably, I think. I can't remember. I think if you do a printing cut, which I am going to be doing, which I need to put the laying on lines back. So I can do that too, if I can give y'all a better example of that. Just delete that one. Because I would need those lines to show y'all that much. Okay. Because a printing cut, I think it does. I'm not sure. Let me just upload another one. And with the scoring lines. And I just leave it like that. I can't remember for real. I think it does. Okay, we'll do that as an example for I can get y'all a better understanding of that. But first, I'm gonna I have to ungroup that again. Make sure y'all ungroup it, y'all. It's, it's, it's grouped together a couple times. See? So go over here, ungroup. And I'm not using the blue one because I don't have that size paper. Ungroup. Push it again, just in case. Okay, so we're not using my computer going so slow. I started just record, but I want a child on here with me. It's still in our group. So I don't know what is so many layers to it on grouping. And you're seeing it yourself. I keep clicking. Let 
You see now. What the freak? I group. Maybe I was grouping it back together, huh? Ungroup. Okay, so touching that ungroup. Let me delete that one. And delete this because I don't need. You gotta ungroup that too, child. God damn. Let's see, ungroup. Let's see. Let me get that one. Okay, let me get that one. Okay, this here. I'm gonna do the print and cut. I'm just use. We're gonna try to slice. One more question. If you turn the lines into a dash line, scoring line, manually they could use the blade. That's my last question. I, I think so. Uh, with the Cricut, I'm going to do it now. I think with the Cricut, cut, it does do the um, cut for the scoring lines with the Cricut, cut, but that's what we're going to try now. So you have to have the scoring lines out the way. But let me make sure. It's been a minute since I did it. So I'm going to slice this image in there. I don't know why I duplicated first, y'all. I'm about to, oh. Okay. Let me go back, y'all. Moving too fast. Good afternoon. Happy on the cricket. If you have the... I need to get my phone if I can see because the lines, it was square, not cut. Yeah, but I don't have my scoring tool. But... um. You have to turn the lines into, like you see how this uh, template head came in. You have to turn these lines into a score line. If you're not, it's going to cut. See what it says? It's a basic cut. You see, I got to highlight it. It's going to cut. It's not going to score. So you have to go up here and you have to manually say score. And then it will turn it into a score line for you. But if you don't do that, it's going to cut your paper. Like for real, for real. All the way through. Buy the template and then just go ahead and make it and see what it do for you and let me know. Let's see. You add the pen. I ain't got the pen, girl. I don't know my pen at. I lost it. That's why I said I'm going to have to just bootleg it. Like, but I just wanted to clear that up for people that will use their score pen. You have to turn the line into a score line. Yeah, so I'm going to just slice. Put a marker in it. I don't know when I'm fit. That's why I think I broke my maker. You remember the last one I did in Columbus? I had uh put a pen or something and I pushed that thing all the way down. So I sliced that image here. Cause this is I'm gonna use photo paper for this one particular design here. The next one we just use cardstock. I can delete that. I really don't need that one because I still got the other one. So let me just slice this other little half. Let me see. I, I need more of the bottom to be. Because I got to connect that part. Okay, cool. Slice. Okay, so for some reason, something is left behind over here because it's not slicing. Okay, you see? It had two pieces. It would never slice two pieces. So anytime you highlight something and the slice don't show up, that means either something in that box with the slice, then I had another piece there and I didn't see it. So now it should show up. Yeah, see, now it's showing up. So anytime you don't, don't see something with slice, because you're going to slice one thing at a time, slice don't show up. Either you didn't highlight both, or something is with that picture that you're trying to slice, because it only lets you slice one at a time. I hope I'm making sense. Let me delete that. Okay. This is, uh, we'll draw the score lines. Yeah, the, the, um, the marker will, but I mean, like, I got, I just go back and look at the picture, and it's kind of common sense for me with a fold it, but it does help to have the lines. Um, so I'm gonna steal the lines off of this one here, and I'm going to put it over here. I'm gonna send it to the, the front the range, bring the front. Why do it look like that? Okay, okay. Okay. Make sure I got it even enough. Hey, Tanya, how you doing? Hey, everybody. I'm finna look at the chat in just a sec. Y'all know I came with Miss Tracy be saying chew gum and Kyle shoe at the same time. <laughs> 
Okay, so uh, I'm going to turn this into a score line. You see, I had put it on here. And hopefully, since it's going to be a printed cut, it would just uh, show me where the lines will be at. I think that's what it'll do for me for the printed cut. And then I will um, do the same for this little image here. Wait a minute. This little part here. I mean, I'm telling you, I'd be feeling like somebody like right there. And so you can hear everything outside, which is good and bad, but sometimes stuff be right here and I don't hear nothing. Okay. Hey, Ruji. I see somebody say, hey, Ruji. Hey, Ruji. So that's another thing if your scoring lines ain't even either. That'll throw you all. But like I said, it's common sense with a folder if you, you just keep looking at your picture. Okay, so since this is going to be a printing cut, it's not going to score it for me because um, I'm going to flatten it. But it will print to, to show me what the uh, scoring lines will be at. So that will help me too. Like if you lose your scoring tool because I done lost my honey. And then I will just highlight that. Well, I'm going to do one at a time because it's going to have to print one at a time. And I'm going to right click. But not right. I'm so used to doing it with the phone, girl. I'm going to attach. Well, it should have been flattened. Hmm. That's weird. Hmm. Well, I guess it was still try to score it in. I know when I uh, try to put it in the cricket, we're just going to run with it. Because they usually say flatten. If I add something, probably because I had already turned it. Okay, I'll tell you what I did. I turned the lines into a scoring line, so I think that's what's going to happen. It's going to uh, try to score it still. Let's see, can I just attach uh, the basic cut? Let's see what that'll do. Yeah. Okay. But I still think it a cut, right? No, it shouldn't. We're just going to run with it. We're just going to detach it and we're going to flatten it. But I think it still will cut. I can't remember. We're just playing right now. I just wanted to show y'all the little template, but I was going to try to design one. Basic. Yeah, it probably cut that. I don't think there's no way around that. Flatten. Probably not, but we're going to leave it over there just to play with anyway, just to have for, you know, y'all can see what I'm talking about. But anywho, don't change the sizing. Just zoom your screen in because the sizing is supposed to be exact what it's supposed to fit a little shot glasses. Now, I have a thing of a cognac or whatever they call it, and it's like a bigger rounded bottom part. So I was thinking about um, making two little bottoms. The top part is fine. This part, the top going to go through, that's pretty fine. Now, the circle is for the shot glass, and she or he made the design to only fit the little square shots. I got a couple of them that's rounded at the bottom, so I'm going to get a C. I'm going to ungroup. I think I can... I'm a high contour. So I, I will hide contour here. And then I go back out. And I will grab a um, circle. I tell you what, I like the circle that's with this one because just a tad, just a tad bigger than this circle here will fit in the um Kodiak or whatever it was, because it was sitting on top, and I feel like if I make it just a little tad bigger, it would do right. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it horizontal, and that, that'll help me some. Yeah, this is how I design, y'all. I'm so like backwards, but so I'm gonna go to contour, and I'm gonna delete the box from around, and then that circle will be there. Then I can kind of eyeball and see where and how big I would like, how much room I would have to. 
make this um, the circle. And you see these little things up here? Make sure you get rid of that because if I try to slice them, it's not going to work. Okay, so I know the drag just a tad. Bigger than that. Uh, let's see. That should be big enough. If not, I know to go bigger. Right now, I'm just playing around, but <laughs> trying to redesign it a little bit for my liking, for my shots. So I'm going to slice that. And slice y'all. Okay. And I, I still got one that's up top with the square. So add another circle. Now this circle here fits the little shots perfect. My cognac is a tad bigger. So I'm just trying to design it for that. Um, that one little particular bottle too. That circle was 1.6. So we're going to try that 1.6 and if I'm going to bring that back just in case I had to play with that. So we still got the original, and we still got, um, I don't need no score lines, because I ain't got my score tool. But you will have to do that, y'all. I'm telling you. OK, so I want to make something like a little funny sand. And then I'm going to give this to my homegirl. Uh -oh. I put swallow, don't speak. <laughs> no judgment. So, okay, uh, let's send it back. I feel like I'm having an allergic reaction a little bit. My eye itches so bad, y'all. I feel like I can open that box, that, that little square up song, but you know, you only have a thin amount of window. Let me look at that template I already made. I feel like it'll be super thin in the front, but it won't be too bad. I feel like I can open that square up just a tad more. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to uh, slice the lips and the wording on there some kind of way. Like a shadow layer. So I'm going to duplicate. It probably go all the way over on the other side of town. No, it went right here. Okay. So we're going to. Delete the box from right now because I just want the square. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this square in front of this square. Make sure it's even for me. Okay, I know you can push the line thing, y'all. I ain't good with that either. But that's good enough right there. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna delete the square. That's great to hear. Oh, y'all talking my bad. And I'm going to delete that. It's kind of drag. It ain't going to be too much bigger, but it's going to be a tad bigger. I don't want to take too much uh, um big because I got to fold these and it's going to only leave me so much to that little area. So it ain't too much bigger than that square that was here. I can drag it down so let's see. Just try three. See what that look like. Damn it, y'all, the box won't unlock. Make sure y'all unlock the box. So Sometimes when y'all try to design, you know, uh, scratch stuff, make sure the box is unlocked at the top with the width and height at because it ain't, it just going to make all of the sides, which is crazy sometimes. I just made it a tad longer. I feel like I can do a little tad longer. I'm trying to pay attention to the folding to see how much room I have to make it taller or wider. Y'all, so I'm gonna try another go four. I forgot to unlock the box again. Unlock your box. 
Yeah, I'm doing this. When you buy the design, you just go ahead and cut. You won't have to do nothing this. But if you want to customize the box, that's what I'm doing. So the box is already ready to go for whatever you want it to look like. I'm just playing around with it because I want to do something a tad different. Mm. Big, so 3.5 maybe. Mm. Yeah. You gotta pay, pay attention to this area here in this one because this gotta be folded. So it'll show you how much area you'll have from a fold widthwise to the, the slicing that we're not finna do. So from here to here, it's gonna be a very thin window, like on the edges or whatever. So the design is thicker than that. So you keep it just like that, but if you just wanna play around, like I'm finna do, you can do whatever. I probably could've got a little more width before I slice that. I can't, I'm gonna try a little more width. I'm sorry, I'm being greedy. Because I'm gonna add this as a um, offset on top. So let me try to make it a little more wider. Okay. Let's try. Let's try three even with. Let's just do three even. I didn't do too much, but you're trying to make sure it look kind of even. Slice. Okay, y'all make sure y'all hit the like button. So I slice the one to back out, different size. And then I'm going to. Should I put it like this? I think I'm gonna do this. And I could just do this one in print and cut. I could have just did the um image on that one. I'll do that too. Let's see if I let's put uh hmm. I'll probably put it like this in the front. Hey, how you doing, Teresa? So I was thinking I just have something cute or funny on it. And I'm gonna put an offset to give it like the can I not move that? Shit, I can't see. Hold on, y'all. Can't you see? We need to be able to see. Zoom out some shit. Let's see. Hmm. Foxy looking out of my damn wonderful. 
Is it moving? Okay, I like that. Is it moving? Let me just push apply. Let's see, can we bring it back up? But I can't see. Okay. Let's make that red. Group those together, attach, and I just move that out of the way. So I'm gonna bring this over some more, and then I'm going to highlight all of that, and I'm gonna weld that. Let's see, can well, will it let me weld it? Hmm. So we're gonna weld that. Let's see. So damn it. Is it weld? Okay, I was like, is it gonna weld again? <laughs> okay, so that weld together. I can do this like as a little sticker just to keep me from working hard. If I did regular cardstock, I can just make it like a sticker. Um send to okay. So I can just put this on here like as a little sticker. I would use like a transparent sticker or something like that. But I still have to have like a, a shadow behind it because if I don't, Cricut will cut out every individual letter. So I didn't think that part through either. I just be thinking as I be going, y'all. That's how I work. I'm sorry. A lot of y'all be like, damn, it's taking forever. But I'm thinking as I go. So we can do a sticker. I'm going to get another little baby baby offset. And then I'm going to attach that for it. And when Cricut cut it, it'll cut it as a whole like a sticker. So I'm going to bring that down some. Let's see that. So I want that um, offset to be real little behind there, but I want it to be enough to cut just a whole piece. Hope I'm making sense. Okay, then we kind of get in there. I guess we can work with that. Let's push apply. Let's we'll just move that out of the way. So the sticker's not going to be black, y'all. I'm going uh, to. Just trying to line everything up right. You know the printer can't print white, so I'm turning it white for uh, when Cricut cut it. It'll just be all in one. So I'm gonna highlight all of it and I'm gonna flatten it. So it'll be a sticker now. So it'll cut it out like that. It's supposed to anyway, we'll find out. And then that way I won't have to work so hard with a lot of card stock. So I'm just trying to give y'all other ways to design it. Like if y'all wanna add um, something else and y'all don't have um, a thicker card stock and you wanna decorate your card stock, you can make like a sticker or something. You can customize it some kind of way where you can do a print and cut uh, with the, um, I'm gonna do photo paper for the other image. So there's just something simple. I was just trying to show y'all right quick. And then 
for the different size bottles. If you know measurements pretty good, I don't. I just I bought a lot of stuff, and I know that's not good for a lot of people that be watching me. But y'all, that's that's how I work, and I'm sorry. I be trying to learn everything I need to learn, and it's frustrating. I I think I'm doing kind of good with the measurements with some stuff, but I have been trying to learn it. It just my I'm telling you, it, if I know it. I get annoyed. I I kind of give up. So, which is not a good thing. I kind of won't mess with it. I thought I got frustrated so much. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to make it. Let me show you guys everything. Okay. I'm going to make it. Project is incompatible. Okay, so the printer cut is not going to be able to happen. And I don't know if I can... Um, shrink it any but we can probably try let's see what size it is up here it's an eight by some what's the measurements that's too big um so all i can tell you if you want to do something like a pattern you'll just have to print a full sheet like this design let's say if you wanted this marble look you'll just have to print that on a whole eight by eleven sheet just a whole design and then you just have to uh use this like template here and just uh, put the color paper. I just had to do it shit to explain it better. So we're gonna redesign this one here because I ain't gonna be able to do a printed cut, and I'm not gonna be able to do a um what you call it a uh, technique to show y'all. It probably would have did something different anyway. But you can just print um full sheet of like find an image background of your choice and just print that whole sheet as eight and a half by eleven, and then let this template right here cut out of it. Do that make sense? I hope I'm making sense. Let's see. I be forgetting about the printer because Cricut really need to up their game. They keep adding all this other stuff, but they won't give us a bigger print. Let me check the chat, y'all. I'm sorry. Y'all I know I, I don't know why we going live trying to teach now and I can't multitask comments and <laughs> okay, so that's gonna be our sticker. Let me get a sticker paper. We're gonna see if Cricket gonna cut that just right too. my phone. Right. Okay. This is... So we're going to print this first. I don't know why I like to turn the bleed off mine, but I guess I leave that on there. Let's say continue. Hey, love and live, baby. How you doing? Hey, Alicia, how you doing? Sorry, I'm at work. Just saw this. Hey, baby, I appreciate y'all coming in. Mrs. Denise, what's going on? The craft, how you doing? Send a friend. I have a question. I already have all the shot glasses template, which is a couple of months ago, and they are great. Is this in design space? Yes, it is in this design space, cricket design space.
I'm sorry, I just not seen it, y'all. I was, you know, I'm trying to multitask. It's hard. Let's see. Victoria, how you doing? Hey, everybody. If I didn't get to speak to y'all, squeeze my sponge. I like that. <laughs> how you doing? Make this go viral, LLC. How you doing? Y'all make sure y'all check her out as well. And uh, Crafty Leo, if you still hear that ring pop you did, was busting, girl. I don't know what's going on. Reason why it's taking this forever. Oh my goodness, y'all! They won't let me be great. It just won't. It just won't. It just gotta mess with me in some kind of way, honey. Is it a way to make it go back like that? Both of my printers are set up, so pretty strange. Okay, uh, thank you. I'll definitely check the design space when I get home. Oh, yeah. You just up. Uh, it said Crafty Leo. Yeah, but um, the template, if y'all want this template I'm working on, um, I put it in the very top of the chat. I had pinned it. I don't know how far I'll let y'all go back, but I can try to put it in there now. Why this thing loading 15 years? Here you go. Let's see. 1800. And let's see. I don't, I ain't gotta be like a perfect cut. But if y'all ever want to change our um print setting in Chris uh cricket, you go here where it's a use system dialogue. I'm scared to do all it loading so damn slow. Then a, another little thing will pop. We'll do that some other time. It's taking too long already. So we're going to let that print because, child, we might not get so little cricket. Blow my nerves a little bit. Yes, Crafty Leo got a channel, y'all. She's a, uh, what's it, keto diet? I might want to say vegan or something like that, I think. I don't know. But she cooks. She cooks. She make you hungry. It's a setup. But she also crafts. She do everything we do. Yes, uh, that's the Etsy shop. For the the um template, right, Nicole? Nicole, be on it, girl. I don't know what I do without you, girl. Y'all make sure y'all check out Precious Pieces as well. Let's see. Yes, that's the extra shot. Look at Nicole. Nicole on that baby, honey. You must have went and bought it, Nicole. It's a cute little file, and you can make it your own. Like you get what I'm saying? You just had to eyeball some stuff or whatever. But let's see. I'm gonna just I'm gonna show y'all. Let me bring me over too, if I can put me on camera with it. I want to make sure I get everything set up for y'all can see. I ain't got my cricket maker plugged though. That's why that ain't showing up. I'm going to be using. Let me put me on camera. Let me invite myself in here. Hold on. So y'all can see the camera. Yes, yeah, you know how to get you with the food, honey. Appreciate y'all rocking. I be trying to go live and show y'all stuff. And y'all, I'm not saying I'm not a good teacher. It just it's not like I get frustrated. I'm not I don't I'm not very patient teaching. I be trying to be. I just be wanting everybody to have a good understanding. I be trying to understand. I mean, like uh, explain the best way I know how without getting frustrated. It's hard once you learn. Hold on, yeah. Okay, that should be better. Hold on, let me bring this in, and then. I think I can remove this one. No. Mm. And I'm still gonna make I'm gonna make me big once I get over there to the um the cricket. It said what size shots will fit in there? Uh any shot glass will fit in the template that I, I shared. Because I seen some people Using the tall ones you can buy from uh, Walmart. See, my other shot glass too short. That's why I'm going to work on me a whole different... Um, I'm going to work on a different design to make it sit up higher.
for me, and they're just for my preference. For because if I sell them or try to make little cute little boxes, I, I don't want the glass to fall out. So I'm gonna uh, probably make a design that kind of close mine off or something. I don't know yet. I'm gonna play with the, the template and redesign it some kind of way for myself. Um, so be going to cricket. Okay. First of all, they didn't even let us see the dang on. Yes. Yeah, we didn't need that. I was like, what is that? So it's going to separate each piece. Like you see, it separated this one. So you're going to make sure you need a 12 by 12 cardstock. Or let me see how. I think you can do an 8 and a half by 11. Yeah. And you got a piece of paper to go all the way to that 9. Yeah, eight and a half by eleven might fit on there. Um, I like to put mine in the center because I'm gonna be using a card stock, a twelve by twelve. I can use this, but you want your uh, box to be a little sturdy, and this card stock is super thick. And if you want to do a laminating technique, that'll make it super thick, thick and heavy. Like the the laminator make it very heavy. So y'all can try that as well. Let's see. Okay. So let me get y'all set up. Check y'all up right here. And this is. I have to figure out. So y'all can see. See the cricket. Yeah, I'm in my kitchen, y'all. We gotta start somewhere. We ain't gonna let that hold us back from doing nothing we wanna do. So don't make up no excuses. Try and get to where y'all can see though. Okay. This is what I bought, and it is heavy car stock. It is by a recollection brand, and it's uh, one of those hot buy. Um, and, it, and they usually be sitting off in the middle somewhere. So this is the car stock I'm using, and it is a 12 by 12. I'm gonna try to use, I'm gonna use this pink, cause that's cute. I'm gonna give it to my homegirl. I might put like a sand or something on the shot glass later. I just wanted to show y'all this template cause I thought it was super cute. Yeah, honey. Let me go find my 12 by 12. So, I'm going to cut the pieces out on a pick. And I'm going to use that um, Super Tech, Super whoever Super Tech for somebody. And I'm cutting it on heavy cardstock. And I'm going to cut it on more pressure. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Cricut. And I'm going to continue. It's kind of cold. <clears throat> and like I said, heavy car stop. And then I'm going to push default, but I'm going to push more pressure. Just to make sure it could. Let me see. Texture, it's a texture car stock. Let me show you my other little piece out. That's gonna be cute, but then it might be like, you know. And I'm gonna try that different um, 
shape for the cold, what is it, cognac or whatever it was. And not then, I just play with it later, but I just wanted to come on and share that with y'all. Good day. How y'all doing? Okay, we're gonna load the next mat. Next mat. <laughs> Let me slow down. Let me rip the paper. So we got one cut out, and you see our little offset. It's gonna be cute. Okay, I'm just gonna load the next mat. And y'all know I'm not throwing that away. I ain't gonna even lie to you. That whole little strip, I get a name out of it. I need to stop doing this, stop being, it ain't being cheap. It just, I know I'll be like, dang, I wish I still had that color. I could've put this name on it, and then show stuff saying, you come in handy. And you never know when you gotta, you know, bootleg some stuff and put some stuff together. I be making it work, I'm telling you. I be trying not to buy nothing extra either. Like, let's see, what did it go to now? Okay, it did go to the next one. Oh, so I didn't have to do nothing with the settings because they already had it. So, just push the thingy on the next. And y'all know what? I just messed up it. Cause I probably could have added them other pieces on here. Pause that. I'm gonna add them other pieces on here. Let me see if I can move that. Let me show y'all that right quick. So I'm gonna push cancel on that. And then I'm gonna bring y'all back over. Let me see, can I do that right quick? Wait, put y'all on here. Can y'all still hear me? Cause I got y'all on the phone. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna cancel the cut right quick. Just to see if I had enough room to bring them other things in. Just so I won't waste a lot of cardstock. So right here, uh, a couple of these pieces can fit over there on that yellow. So I'm going to move one of these over there on that yellow. So I'm going to move object. And it's going to ask me what mat I want to put it on. And I'm going to put it on this one. See? I'm going to waste a whole thing of cardstock on that little bit of piece. So let me go add this one. Probably can add two pieces on there. I'll probably add all of them, hopefully. If not, then I just need certain ones. So it ain't no big deal, because I didn't need two of the tops. It just was just something for the video. Yeah, let me bring, bring that over. I can bring the other one over. Yeah. I don't really need the other one, though, but I need the other bottom just in case. Um, Try to get the other one. And then move object. Let's put it over here. So for y'all that didn't know, yes, you can move your stuff on your canvas to another mat or the same mat. Even if you did separate the colors and you did not want to uh, waste material. But if you're going to uh, put it two different colors and you need something to be a different color you will need to put that vinyl down wherever you place that item in on the same mat if that makes sense i hope i'm making sense so now we can go over here we're gonna push continue now we can finish what we started then i'll do the printed cut one uh, in a second i'm gonna do the settings again on this one And do heavy cardstock, and then we're gonna do more pressure. I just want to make sure some of that cardstock be so thick, you be thinking it cutting out good. Like I got a black uh, recollection from Michaels, yeah, I think it's a hundred pound cardstock, but boy, for some reason I had the hardest time cutting that one. 
The next up will be the sticker. Okay. That's pretty quick. So now we all gotta do is print this, the print sticker, and then we'll be done. So we can load this back. I pray that this uh whatever that Cavassier stuff, I think I did it big enough. It looked like I kinda did, but We'll figure that out in a minute. If not, then we know to keep playing with it. I ain't going to give up. I'm coming back to the camera just a second. Let me finish cutting this. And then I'm going to set the camera up by itself. And we're going to do the, the panic cut. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay. okay, so now we just got the sticker and I'm gonna bring it out over and we're gonna put this thing together. should do probably can y'all see real good or should I bring the camera back that way and then maybe the light will come in more that way so anyway this piece came with the file and now you're doing this folding where the the splits that where the splits are stopping at like where the let's see if I find the camera where the line is stop at that's how I know sometimes like wherever the cutoff part is I know the fold because I want to do the Cavassier, which is this here. And it's around it, a bottom. And I, you see how I designed it. So it does look like it'll kind of sit in that little hole. Probably a couple more little inches would have been perfect, but it's 
it's sitting there because it wouldn't sit on this one at all. So I'm proud. We just gotta go back and figure out that size that we did, but you know, it's still up. So that's why I kept the circle if I can know exact size that I had did it for the Cavassier. So maybe another rounded bottom um, shot will probably fit in there too. I got some more in the cabinet. Y'all remember when I bought these shots last year? <laughs> it's still the sh same shots from last year. I think I did it for my, doc my dad for Father's Day or something. I was making something. I bought all them little liquor shots. Good. I gave my daddy the bag. I shouldn't have did that. Lord, how much we ain't last 10 minutes. He was drinking it like Kool-Aid. I think that was the day I was, he was helping me move something out of my house, child. I was like, I shouldn't have gave him that, honey. I hear him took his ass home. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm not a liquor head. I'm more like a beer head and a wine head. But I will drink some if it got some Kool-Aid in it. Nice and sweetness to it. But uh, I'm trying to make it to where it'll fit any kind of shot. Just because the template just designed for the little square ones, which is this here. So it's cute little design though. Because they made it for the little square bottoms. That's why I was like, well. I'm not a big paper head crafter, but I do like it, paper crafts. I'm serious, Teresa girl. Let's see. And then uh, for me, I use like some tape. I just grab some little tape and I had um, and that's how that ain't folded all the way where it's supposed to fold either because it will connect with the, the edge. Yeah, so she had it like this. You know, I just wrapped some tape around that little part to keep it together. And if it ain't going together, that means you didn't fold it far enough. So it pretty much should be, you know what I mean? Okay, this part, what the fruit cocktail? Okay, there you go. I don't like with the verbal. This part is supposed to be fold on the. That's why it is good for the scoring line because some papers are too thick. That was the name, Parch Paper Lady. Boy, she's good at it. She had this stuff folded so fast. She is amazing. Y'all ain't following her. Y'all need to follow her. Parch Paper Lady. She's a paper crafter and she is amazing. She specializes in boxes and. Uh, planners, books. She can do anything. She can turn anything into something with paper, honey. She's almost like Andrea Creation, but Andrea is the more of a uh, party, but she do everything we do, too. Andrea do everything. Posh paper lady, she specializes in paper. Like, she's bad. Ain't nobody messing with that lady at all. She is amazing. I watch her. I don't ever comment like I used to. Cause she never said nothing back, but her name is Sherry. That ain't why I don't, you know, but I just sit there and watch her because she's good. But I do try to leave a like or a heart or something on her videos. But uh, she is very good at what she do. So if I had to meet anybody paper-wise, it would be her and Andrea. I want to meet them paper-wise. Then the other lady that makes all the home decor. I, I can't never remember her name. Can't never pronounce it. I just know she'd be like, it's so great to have you here. And I love her channel as well. I think she's freaking amazing. I'm trying to get that fold just right, honey. Then you got to fold this little part up here. I'm just eyeballing. But use your scoring tool. I lost mine. That's the only reason why I'm working as hard as I'm working. You don't have to. So... I just kind of, like I said, did enough paper craft to know where you're supposed to fold that. Kind of. The splits help me a lot. Like when it's already cut up stuff. So yeah, we got that. Should look like this. You know? Just gonna bring y'all up just a tad. So yeah. And then we put this together. So I'm using this glue here, which is super tape 
tech, whoever it is. And it's child, ain't none of my tops working on none of my glue. So we bootlegging over here. We just gonna spray a little wealth onto the little platform and we're gonna do that. These little edge things first. That's how I'm gonna do mine. You do her, yours however you like. tape for me and should have had some paper down try to get it even to the the little folding part on each side like this side need to go exactly where the fold in not too far over you know just stop it right there on the edge Said I don't like glue. I rather tape everything. I do like glue, but I rather tape stuff. I right, this here for the birds. And that glue is tacky. That glue is very, very tacky. So if you can do a double sided adhesive tape, that will be easier and quicker. Okay? So make sure y'all do that. Because I do not like tape. Hey fisherman, how you doing? He said, hey everybody. Y'all got to check out the man. Well, I forgot the name, Lord. What is his name? Tracy was on there as a dude. <laughs> I don't know how I'd be missing half of these videos, y'all, but that was that was refreshing to watch, man. If y'all ain't part of the Lit Lit fam, y'all sleeping because that whole crew be over there acting up. I'm telling you, Educated Natural, all of them, man, they be over there acting up. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to Educated Natural too, man. So, I don't know his name. Uh, fuck, I, I just subscribed that day I seen that video. But if anybody know what I'm talking about, he had Tracy on. It looked like the world news. He had his video um, set up like a news station type situation. Like the world news. I bet the partial paper later look at the video and be like, girl, what is you doing? I'm trying. I'm trying. Like no blue head. But yeah, so I don't know his name. Tori. Yeah, uh, Precious Pizza, drop his link for me. Y'all, check this man out. He is funny as hell. Like, for real. Y'all need to check him out. I thought that was super, super dope. And make sure y'all check out Rooster. He's funny, too. I like him. There's a lot of them, man. Let's see. We don't have a lot of men crafters in the, you know, in the community. He's not a crafter. But, you know, he's still hanging out with crafters. Like, everybody's amazing. Fisherman is amazing as well. Y'all check him out. Everybody in the chat, check each other out. A lot of them got channels and y'all don't even know it. I don't be knowing it either until I like kind of click somebody's name one day. And they like, damn, they got a channel. So if I ever subscribe to you, keep going, please. It ain't for the week. That's for damn sure. Okay, we finally <laughs> bootlegged it. And then you just put the bottom in there like that, and then you just fold. You know what I mean? Simple stuff. And you can glue this little part on top of that if you like, just for secure work, like purposes or whatever. But, you know, just put a little dab here, a little dab there. Close it up. Make sure it's even. Get some mold and dab that there. Over there, yeah, on the there. You know, all that good stuff. It's a little messy right now because I'm just trying to show y'all. We've been on here too long. But I hope it uh, motivates somebody to make little cute little Father Day Valentine boxes or something. That's my whole goal was to get y'all excited about something. Make sure y'all hit the like button, please, and thank you. Make sure y'all get it even, too, because you don't want your box to be wopsided. So, I'm like I said, I'm going to use the Cavassier one come through come through with the tape there so get you some tape and just tape off the edges you don't have to do this this is just what i want to do to make sure it don't fall down in the box for real ain't that good we might have to just win with it just can't find my opening okay hold on i got it okay okay he said hit the like button yes please hit it did you drop this link for me nicole so I just put it together like that. 
And then just put a little corner tape there. You ain't got to be perfect, but just get it to stay up pretty much. Cut a little split there and fold that up in there like that. That's all I'm doing. Another little piece here. Do the same thing. And like I said, if it's not touching, that means you didn't fold the box good enough. Because it should touch. I know I done messed up a couple pieces, but it's fine. I ain't even sweating for real. This ain't going nowhere for real, for real. Like for no purchase. This is a gift. I know I need money, but try. I just want to try stuff. And for it not to go to waste, I give it away. Somebody show somebody else, and then that's when my money come in at. I said, can you make me one too? I sure can. Like that lady at the post office, I'm going to take her a bling shirt. Uh, that's the only thing I haven't took her, but she be buying all the time for me now. She order shirts. So she love that uh, Waymaker and all that. That Waymaker shirt. She love that one. So I'm going to stick this down in here. If I can get it down in here. Because I got glue everywhere. My tape sticking. My box not dry, y'all. I'm being very impatient. Be patient. Let your stuff dry if y'all gonna have to use glue. Don't be like me, please. Be better. I take your time. <laughs> but I'm so nosy. Maybe you wanna see right now. Like right now. And I did, um, like I said, I redesigned the box too. So y'all gotta remember that I I did this. Now you don't have to do a low cut as cut as I did. So you might want to keep the cut high up this way and only stretch from the top if you're gonna do a little design this way. Because now my little piece there is showing. But you know, they do like the little window method. You can do like the little plastic film stuff and put it in this window. I don't have any, but you can. Look at that. Ah, it fits. Your girl bad to blind. Y'all better stop playing with me. Now, now, now this little, little shot glass fit perfect in there. Look at that. Let's see. Oh. My little circle fit perfect. So you see how I made it? I just scratched, I, I copied the circle that was on there. Scratched it just a tad bit more than whatever. I get out of measurements again, or you can run the video back, but I get it to you before I get off the phone what side the circle was for the little rounded bottles. And then this top part, I'm going to just use this one. And then this is to hold the bottle in there. But like I said, I don't have none of that little plastic stuff, which I should buy. And then that's another reason why your box shouldn't be so, um, whatever you want to call it. See, my thing is showing. Because I had redesigned it. So now my, um, I got to redo that. So I might not get to use the one at the top. Shit. But it's holding it up pretty good because of the uh, circle. So I'm going to redesign my box. Now I know not to go too far with the space. And I see why day square was like it was. But hey, it is what it is. We can still do what we want to do. You can make it however you want to make it. It don't have to be the exact same way as you buy it. You know, you can redo it and make it your own. Yeah, this vinyl is sticky and I got that glue on my hand, so this stick about to be looking ugly. Oh, fuck. Let my heavy ass hands, y'all. Suck, man. <laughs> I just like literally ripped the damn sticker, y'all. Literally just ripped the sticker. That don't make no sense, Josephine. Hold on, y'all. My hands is tacky. <laughs> Should do this before you put it together, which I know I'm a little whatever, so do this before you put the damn box together, okay? And then I didn't put it far enough down either. But y'all get the memo. It is what it is. It's supposed to be like a little little cute little sticker. Not the camera. I tried. I'm gonna do better next time. But now I know my flaws because I just did some shit out of the top of my head. 
and it worked. It just need a little tweaking. So y'all have a blessing. Any questions? Janome, <laughs> Janome. Uh, what's up, boo boo? Hey, Nicole, Janome. Y'all so soon. That's a good shirt, Patrice Janome. Like that's Janome. What's it like, Janome? Something like that. I seen that in the um thing. But that's cute though, right? Still cute. Look at that. Cute gift. And uh, if you do like the printing cut type situation, y'all can design the whole box. See, like, it's clicking. But you can also tape stuff down. Like, it's not moving because it's in the little hole. But that, the design that I bought, it was built to stay because, yeah. Now, let me put this back in there. This one fit in that design that I bought. So, I'm getting another. Yes, it is super cute, y'all. And then, the other time they're around coming, you can say something. Say, drink this for like a script, so you can script later. Say something. I don't know, put a cute little card in there. But now I see why they had the design so far down. So, I was just, I would keep the design the way it is for the out there. And then I would just do how we did the offset and put a, a cute little saying or something for that part. Instead of me slicing and making it as wide as I did on mine. You get what I'm saying? Shit, hold on, y'all. I ain't good with this. But uh, I redesigned it. That's why mine's look like that. But mine's ain't moving. Because I got this, that little kvassi that stuck down in there. But uh, the shot glass and all that is decent. The, the little square is a tad big for that. But it's cute. If you put a cute little plastic in front of it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna keep the box out there like it is, and then if I want to add like the little kissy lip thing, I know to add it now. I do the offset on uh, this one. I just know not to go past a certain part, if that makes sense. And even if I do, I can still work with a corner area. You know what I mean? So it needs this and that top part for to keep stuff from falling out. And a lot of people do use the taller shot glass. This is a Dollar Tree shot glass, which it does fit in the template that I. Uh, Put in the chat. Put it in the chat one more time for me, uh, Nicole. And I will try to remember to link it either on the community or in this video. But pretty much I'll link it in the community because I didn't put it in the chat. Yeah. And, uh, I'll put it on the comments underneath the video and I'll pin it. How about that? So let me look at your questions and I'm going to get off here. If I can find Look if, if I can find my phone, but hell. Y'all on the phone. Okay. This is because she loves your nose. Yeah, I know. I thought that was cute. That was beautiful. Great job. Thank you, Leisha. Thank y'all for staying as long as y'all did. I know the video was all over the place. And pink wave. I'm going to have to try. Yes, the link is in the description. Okay, Precious Pieces just dropped the store again. That's where I bought the template from. If any of y'all want to make this uh, template. I thought it was super cute. So make sure y'all click the link and go to the Etsy store. Make sure y'all put the best unit sent me here underneath the uh, store. Because they got some good files in that store. So if y'all buy this file, make sure y'all tag me under the reviews after you leave your review. That way I know y'all came from my video. And I really greatly appreciate that. Let's say I have, um, yes, girl, get some of that and, and work with it. Yes, Alicia, Posh Paper Lady is amazing. She is. Cute gift for Valentine. It is. Right in time for Valentine. So, y'all, we're doing good. We're trying to keep it down to an hour. And I done went over 18 minutes. Y'all know how I am by my even numbers. But I still did good. I didn't think it was going to take an hour. But it did because I get to thinking as I work. Y'all know how that go. But, yeah, for the most part, it's super cute. Let me get another little shot. Let me get another little shot. Let me get Okay, I'm out of breath, man. Any day, keep exercising. So, look at that. Mine's still cute, though. I don't care. Mine's still cute. I like it. I really do like it. It just need a little tweaking. That's it. Need a little more tweaking. Let's see. Hmm. Camera. Okay. Okay. So what y'all thinking? Cute, right? Cute, right? All right. 
can turn it provides the head over. But they can see the name, honey. Free pro promo. The fuck? They better send me some, honey. Look at that. Oh, y'all know y'all better start playing with me. And the shot glass boxes do fit the taller shot glasses as well. So click the link in the chat. I don't know the people that own the Etsy store, but if y'all buy this template and if y'all buying it because y'all seen it on here, make sure y'all tag me in a reviews after you do the template. Say, yes, I love it. Got it from the best uni on YouTube. So they can come check my channel out as well. But I am gone for real this time, y'all. I said show appreciation. Yes, yes. Whew, I'm out of breath. I love y'all so much. Y'all make sure y'all have a blessed day. Please. Love yourself harder. Get your 10 minutes out of the day. Take some time for yourself. And I'm out this thing, y'all. Let's see. I'm ending it now. Have a good day.